and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have another one of my Viscontis in my collection to show you today. Now this is one of the older style boxes that you can see here with the outer sleeve. Let me unbox this pen and then you'll see what I have inside. So this is the standard or the old style standard clamshell box from Visconti. And you can see here, it's not the one with the tray, so it's the slimmer version. If I open up the box, you will see here the Visconti Divina Elegance in brown, the oversized model. So let me take the pen out and move the box away and I'll show you the pen in a little bit more detail. Now this really is a stunning pen. I'm not normally into brown pens but I've seen a few photos online prior to buying this pen and I saw how the chatoyants were on some of the pens. The stock photos do not do this Davina or indeed a lot of the Davinas um, much use. Like the chatoyants there really only shows up under bright lights and a lot of the stock photos do not have bright lights. So let me show you here this is an oversized Davina. Now you have here the uh, pen finial or the cap finial and this is the my pen system that you can swap out it has a magnet in. You have the standard Visconti bridge clip which I always find are very functional. You can see here that in terms of the size, the cap tapers down towards the end, tapers in, and then tapers out more to the center point, and then tapers back in to what looks to be a cap band, but it's actually a band on the body. And then you find exactly the same thing happening here. It tapers out slightly to the center point, and then tapers back in to what is essentially, I'll show you here, get it around the right way, is a captured converter. This is a pull and turn. So the idea of this is it has a converter inside the body that you cannot access. What you do here is you pull the converter out and then you twist it to empty. So you twist it anti-clockwise or counterclockwise to empty the pen and clockwise to fill the pen. Now some of these can be a little bit loose. This one is actually quite stiff. Um, so your mileage may vary on some of these pens. But you can see here the beauty in this brown. And I'm not a one for brown pens normally. But this beauty, the chatoyance that goes on here. You can also see that this pen has twisted facets and these rods are actually silver rods and it comes with silver trim but you can see that pen is really gorgeous that brown when the light hits it it really comes to life so for me i do like these davinas those davinas really are a lovely lovely material so in terms of size of the pen, let me uncap the pen and I'll show you. This is quite a long pen for me and you can see here in the crook of my hand that is actually quite a long pen. Now can you post this pen or post the cap? Yes you can but it becomes a little bit of a wand. You will also notice though that these silver rods here do line up from the cap to the body when posted. So that is actually a really nice touch. Now I don't normally post my caps and they are very short pens or very light pens but for me this pen is very well balanced. Uh, even with the cap on I don't find it that back weighted. Uh, I find the weight of the pen and the length of the pen and the size of the section quite nice. Now the section does come with these hook safe lock thread so a quarter of a turn will cap and uncap the pen but this material really is stunning so let's do a size 
and weight check. We'll do a pen comparison. We'll ink the pen up and we'll do a writing sample. So the length of the pen, we are looking at around about 150 millimeters in length and the cap is around about 60 millimeters in length. The length from the tip of the nib is about 138 millimeters in length. So this is an oversized pen. So the weight of the pen, uninked, we are looking at just over 41 grams. The cap is just over 16 and a half grams. And the body of the pen is just over 21 and a half grams. So it's not a bad weight, it's not a heavy pen, but it's also not a super light pen either. So let's do a pen comparison. From left to right, we have the Visconti Homo sapiens bronze swirl. We have the Visconti Homo sapiens London fog. We have a Visconti Divina, and this is in the Typhoon blue. A Visconti Divina elegance in green. We have the Visconti Divina Elegance in brown. We have the Visconti Divina Desert Spring. We have the Visconti Divina Metropolitan in the stack celluloid. We have a Visconti Corsani 90, a Visconti Octagonal, and a Visconti Homo Sapiens Florentine Hills. So I'm going to ink this up with a Jehaban Lee de Tay. We remove the cap. The good thing about these facets on this pen is that the pen does not roll on the desk. So if you really hate when pens roll on the desk, this pen might actually be for you. So I'll pull the capture converter all the way out. It's twisted all the way. So the pen is in the empty state and I will fill it up. push the knob back down again. So let's do a writing sample. We have the Visconti Divina and this is the Elegance in brown and it's a 23 carat palladium nib and it is a medium nib. Now the ink, as you saw, is J. Herbern and it is Lee de Tay, which is basically tea leaves. Tea leaves. So this is a medium nib, so in terms of line variation, you are going to see around about a medium line. You can push this a little bit more depending on the palladium nib and get it working more towards a broad, but you do have to push quite a bit hard. And I don't normally push that hard, but you can see here on the figure of eight, you can get some line variation going on, but this is not a nib that you're going to want to continuously push. And palladium, like gold, can actually spring if you're not careful. Now, in terms of wetness tests, let's have a look here. Now, this nib here that you can see is actually very dry on the cross strokes. So, what this tells me is that this nib, the tines are a little bit too close together and and that is something that is easily fixed and that's something that I can fix very easily by flossing the tines to open those tines up but when a pen is very dry on the cross strokes but also very wet on the down strokes when you're doing the up and down strokes you when you're pulling the pen down the page you are applying pressure and you're basically opening up those tines, more ink comes out. So this is a pen that I will probably adjust at some point and make write wetter for me, but as you can see here, this writing example is quite wet anyway, but the cross strokes could be a little bit wetter, although 
as you can see in this writing example it hasn't really had an impact on my writing experience but there you go that's the review of the Visconti Divina Elegance in the brown oversize thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video bye bye